Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the first module of um, 18 CS44 and uh, the super important questions are mentioned here. So in this video all the super important questions are there for all the um, modules. This can be found in the description box if you want you can download and go through it. Otherwise I will explain each uh, question, key point what you have to um, write in exam. Fine. If you want more detailed information regarding these answers you have to watch the theory video which I have already uploaded. The link is in the description box. Okay. So before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because your support helps me make more videos like this if you've got any doubt ping me on instagram okay so the first question uh, let me give you the brief overview of what is the first module about it's basically introduction uh, regarding what is emirates systems okay in that uh, there are many type of architectures and different um, microprocessors and controllers are used like microcontroller in arm design philosophy there are some key points that you have to mention and what are the different um, architectures and typical devices used those you have to explain mainly so i picked up six questions which are the super important ones the first very very important is what is the difference between risk and CISC, reduced instruction set computing and complex instruction set computing. There are seven differences in between them. I've explained in the video, you have to go through it. Then the next question is compare and contrast microprocessor and microcontroller. So uh, what do you understand by the term microprocessor and what do you understand by the term microcontroller? What is the difference between them? What are its applications? Those key points you have to mention along with a diagram as well as examples where all it is used. Where is microprocessor used? Where is a microcontroller used? Okay. In ARM design philosophy, there are four points. The four points you have to explain with the example, whatever um, is its meaning or, or, or uh, what is its advantage and disadvantage. Fine. Next one is ARM code uh, data flow model mentioned the different registers of the ARM processor. For the working of the ARM processor, there obviously need to be storing data for the data storing and processing we use different registers what are its different register names that is the first point you have to mention the second it's a second is the data flow data flow means first it will be loaded then it will be processed then it will be handled by some other um, request and then the data will be sent to the output and it will be displayed so this is the flow to make the diagram explain each component used here label it very properly and write a few sentences about each component then as a conclusion write what is its uh, core flow okay that's what you have to mention here next is explain pipelining in arm uh, 9 processor in pipelining also you have four steps all those four steps have different stages what is the significance of each stage and the key process happening in each stage that's what you have to explain in pipelining so uh, the last one is uh, explain the architecture of typical embedded device with any diagram basically you have to draw architecture and uh, say what are the components used what are its um, features how they um, work together and produce the output where all it is used what is advantage and disadvantage what are all I uh, mentioned never uh, you have to not miss any of those if you write this much then only you will get the good marks okay so that's all basically for this video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one